9 to the a minus 4 to the b equal to 9, 3 to the a times 2 to the b equal to 3, and we want to find a and b, and a and b are real numbers. Okay, so here, because we are working with 3 to the a, 9 to the a, 2 to the b, 4 to the b, so I call 3 to the a equal to x, and 2 to the b equal to what? And also, we know that r to the m to the n equal to r to the mn, equal to r to the n to the m now let's check the first part first equation 9 today is what is 3 squared to the a minus 2 squared to the a equal to 9 now if i use this rule i can say it is 3 to the a squared minus 2 to the a squared equal to 9 3 to the a is x, 2 to the b is y. Oh, sorry. Instead of a, I should write b. Okay. And let's erase this part. 2 to the b squared. Okay, now I use x and y to replace. So. 3 to the a is x, 2 to the b is y, so it is x squared minus y squared equal to 9, and 3 to the a is x, 2 to the b is y, x, y is 3. Now we want to solve this. Let's write the equations here, x squared minus y squared 9, x, y equal to 3. Let's erase these things. Okay. Now I, for solving this, I use replacement. If I divide both sides by x, I can use it because it is not 0. Because if x is 0, then xy is 0, not 3. And if I replace y with 3 over x in first equation, it will be x squared minus 3 over x squared equal to 9. Then it will be x squared minus 9 over x squared equal to 9. So I multiply both sides by x squared. It will be x to the 4 minus 9 equal to 9x squared. Now I take all things to the left hand side, x to the 4 minus 9x squared minus 9 equal to 0. Now, I consider x squared equal to, for example, t, or I can say, for example, q. So, q squared minus 9q minus 9 equal to 0. So let me write it here. q squared minus 9q minus 9 equal to 0. And for solving this, I use quadratic equation that if you have ax squared plus bx plus c equal to 0, x equal to negative b plus minus square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. So here, q equal to negative negative 9 plus minus square root of b squared negative 9 squared minus 4ac, which is 1 times negative 1, 9 all over 2a, 2 times. So, u equal to 9 plus minus square root 81 plus 36, all over 2. So it will be 9 plus minus 7117 over 2. So, here, q was what? q was x squared, which is at least 0. So, if you select negative sign, then it will be negative. So, q equal to. 9 plus square root of 117 over 2. Now, we can find x in this position. q is x squared. So x is what? x is plus minus square root of 9 plus square root of 117 all over 2. So x was what? x was 3 to the a. So, we can say 3 to the a, ah, 3 to the a is always positive, so it's always positive, it's always positive. So here you should select only plus sign. So x equal to 9 plus root 117 over 2, which is what? 3 to the a. Okay, 3 to the a. So let me write it here. 
3 to the a equal square root of 9 plus square root of 117 all over. Now, by definition of logarithm, we know that if x, or let me tell you, log b of a equal to x, it is equivalent that b to the x equal to x. So here we now conclude that a equal to log. 3 of square root of 9 plus root 117 all over 2 in square root it is a now let's find b 2 to the b is y and here we say y is 3 over x x was what was this 3 over this number so y equal to 3 over x which is 3 over it was x Square root of 9 plus square root of 117 all over 2. So y was what? y was 2 to the b. So by definition of logarithm, b will be log 2 of 3 over square root of 9 plus square root of 11. Let me write it in a larger part. Log. 2 of square root of uh, 3 over square root of 9 plus square root of 117 all over 2. And B is this. Okay, if you want to learn other ideas, please don't forget to subscribe, turn on notification, like the video, and you can send message my number through WhatsApp for more questions. Okay, have a great day.